Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding. This week's top five, the top five two board quiver for you rad dads. That's right, you're gonna get a bunch of these two board quiver lists coming up because it's gotta be all encompassing. And one other thing that I want all of you to know about this list, you can pretty much interchange the second board with just about anything. I just felt that these were the better balances of those decks. And I know some of you are probably gonna be really butthurt about this list, and you know what? I don't give a fuck. So let's dive right into it. Number five, the Yes Typo. If you don't understand why this board's on the list, well, you should probably go check out our review. It's a solid cam rocker board for rad dads for crushing the whole mountain. And the other board that I wanna add to this to make it that two board quiver is the LibTech Orca. Now I know some of you are like, what? No, this is like the best selling board ever and I use it for everything, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's a fucking hype beast board, I get it. It's a good board, I've ridden it, it's fun, but I think it matches up perfectly to the liveliness of the typo with how much more damp it actually is. So those low ankle powder days when you just need to plow through heavier, crappier shit or you're in really tight trees, it's gonna complement the typo. Both of them realistically can do the same shit, but with the Orca, it's volume shifted, you can size down on it, get into tight trees, you know, just have a little bit more playfulness to it, whereas the Typo is more of that traditional shape that you can ride on a groomer, go crush the park, chase a little bit of pow, and do everything in between with. Number four, the LibTech E-Jack Knife. Do you want to ride like Eric Jackson? Do you think buying this board will make you ride like Eric Jackson? Well, it won't, but it's still a fun ride, you know? A little bit of setback on it, it's playful enough to butter around in the tips, you got magnet traction for added grip, and it still just does everything in front of it. Like you can crush the park, you can crush pow, you can do everything with it. And the second board that I think would complement it is the Marhar Lumberjack. Dealer's choice on which camber profile you want since you got the flat to rocker or the Lumberjack X with traditional camber. I would probably push you a little bit more towards the flat to rocker, the regular Marhar Lumberjack. It's wide, you can downsize on it, you really don't have to worry about it being unstable just due to that width. It's playful in the tips. I think it is a fucking butter machine. So if you're complaining that you can't really butter on the E-Jack knife, the Lumberjack will definitely complement that for you. It's got a tack arc, so you're gonna have added contact points right underfoot, so you get a little bit better steering right underfoot, even though it's a flat to rocker, which tends to be a little bit looser. It's basically, you can fucking butter till your heart's content and know that it's stable with that board. I think these two kind of complement each other and that's the way I would do it. Number three, the Ride Algorithm. This board blew me away when I got on it. I think this is probably the best board that Ride has added to their lineup in so long at that price point for what it is and how it's being marketed. It's phenomenal, it's playful, it's snappy. You can drive a car with it when you need to. It's just a great all around board. It's one of those boards that you can put a low level intermediate and someone that's all the way up to an expert rider will have a fun time with it. Now the board that I'm gonna pair with it is the Battalion Party Wing. It's more directional, more setback. You got 3D shaping in it with the 3BT. So that way it helps funnel the snow out of it. It's gonna be better in pow, but it's still a party board. It's a board to just go out and slash turns. If it's the spring, you know, just bust through some chunder and have some fun. I think that these two just cover your bases. Number two, the Jones Mountain Twin. Now Jones as a brand just seems to cater towards rad dads, weekend warriors and people that shop at REI. That's just a given. So of course, the Jones Mountain Twin will make it this high up on the list, but it's actually a good board. It's stable where you need it. It's got snap and pop. It still floats in pow. You can still press with it. It's just a good, well-balanced board for most riders. Now, the board that I'm gonna put with it is the Spring Break Slush Slasher. Why? It is the most quintessential party board on the planet, in my opinion. And with that super directional shape that it has, it's volume shifted, it's just designed for carving off that back foot and just really lay in trenches, it matches up with what the Mountain Twin has going on. Personally, I think this is just such a good mashup of boards that I would probably actually ride it. Like, these would be the two that I would probably pick. More so number one. I really like number one. But I'm biased, I get to ride everything. Honorable Mentions, the K2 Broadcast, the Rome National, the Solomon Assassin 
Pro. And for the matchup boards to those, I'd go with the Ride War Pig, the K2 Party Platter, the Libtech Short Wide, and for good measure, we're gonna throw the Y by Yes in there as well. Now, as I've mentioned, you can pretty much interchange anything on this list as you see fit. I think they're all good boards that will complement what the other one has. And the number one quintessential Rad Dad two board quiver, the Capita Mercury and the Telos Backslash. Is anyone really surprised? I love the Mercury. This is by far my favorite board the Capita makes. It's the board that does it all and does it all well and just lets you get on with your day. It's a true jack of all trades. Now the Telos Backslash, yeah, sure, it's volume shifted, you can ride power with it, but it excels at tight, snappy little carves off the tail and lay in trenches. It's a good little carving cruiser board. It's fun in the slush. It's one of those boards that you're like, hey, I'm just gonna go fuck around with the boys and I just wanna lay trenches, play around. I'm not really doing any anything super in particular. I'm not really park focused today. You know, I'm just, I'm just making laps. That's why it's with it. I think that those two boards just make the perfect blend of a two board all mountain freestyle rad dad quiver. Now, as I've said, you can definitely interchange any of these boards with others on this list and you're still going to have a fun two board setup for you. So just remember that when you're watching this video. This has been my top five list of two board quivers for Rad Dad all mountain freestyle riders. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I forget one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this list. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really want to support us and you do have the financial means to swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.